You see in life what I go through, mankind will know. Because yeah, I go through great. It's like I go through a storm for this year. Loss of this year. Yeah, it's like I go through a storm man. End up get broke. End up cannot even buy food. I know. But I didn't say nothing. You know the you know the thing about it. Our friend in Georgia, I can call and say, "Yo, I need a ten thousand dollars to borrow." And it's just like that. I have other people I can call and borrow money from. I didn't do it because I'm praying, I'm believing God that God's gonna change it around, and God not gonna make me have to beg and borrow nothing from no one. I challenge myself on that. Man, I did have food in my truck. I make sure buy and have all the food in my truck before I get broke completely. I didn't broke broke because I have two hundred dollars, two hundred and sixty dollars leave. But that was supposed to make a payment out of, and I didn't touch it. And I go through the storm, man. I go through a storm. Going to Jamaica, get broke. Come back here, get broke. Man. I just keep praying. My truck won a part for a hundred dollars. And I couldn't even buy it. And I still have people I could call and borrow the money from. And I didn't do it. I decide I'm gonna let God change it. I get sick in Jamaica. I go through it. I come up here again, I get sick, I go through it. I just get sick again. Different different stuff happened to me. I think I did have corona. I get rid of in Jamaica. I come here, I have Corona again, I get rid of it. I come on my truck, I mean, I get sick again. Bad problem. When you're not drinking as much water, and I still pray, I didn't go to the doctor, I just keep praying, man, I get rid of it. Right? I just keep going like that. My parts, my truck leaking coolant. I could call the company, I mean, and let they pay for it and then they take it out more settlement I didn't even do that yeah they do that in the loss but man I'm telling you I go through a storm man I go through a storm when I was going for to Jamaica I only have $500 in my account I think it was a thousand dollars in my account to go and get my kids in. and man I still keep praying then I, I know I sell my son my 2001 Lexus. I was selling for like five thousand dollars online, and he said he wanted. I said, "All right, how much you got?" He gave me two thousand five. I said, "All right, man, I'll sell it to you." I didn't want to sell him. I always want to give it to him. But when you reach in situation, you gotta have to make what you have. You know, me work. And thank God. I didn't have to sell my Benz. I didn't have to sell my truck. So, you know, I don't do car payment, you know what I mean? So those things bring my account down because I keep on buying, buying stuff. Buy all this stuff. And then it bring me down. You know, I wasn't saving my truck was, you know what I mean? You do business, you know what I mean? Sometimes you're gonna get broken in life, but you can't watch that. You can think about bill up, but you see, you gotta believe in the Lord to help rise you back up. And that's what I believe in. I didn't have to borrow no money from nobody. I do it out. I do it out. I eat whatever in my truck, I eat it. Right? I make sure I buy a lot of stuff for my kids them at the house so they don't even go hungry. So I think they have this food. Tell them don't worry about the clothes. I buy your clothes. You just came here. So, man, I'm telling you. And I still go through it. You know what I mean? I didn't make a personal dollar. I didn't borrow a dollar. God is good. You see that? God bring me through it. No matter what pain. I was going to Jamaica. This is time was coming in Jamaica the Sunday. I was going to Jamaica from Florida. This time was coming the Wednesday in Florida. So I didn't have to fly out the Tuesday to Jamaica. Then we're coming back, man, and the car break down again. And I still be humble. I thought I was gonna miss a flight. And God is so good, the guy called his friend to come and pick me up. And I 
give the guy and I tip the guy. Right? Come back up. I blow all that money out because I have to keep on paying this stuff. So I get broke. So I'm like, okay. Man, I did have like $260 in my account. $19 in my savings. So, sometime you do stuff. You're going to get broke. But you can't worry about the broke you get. You're going to think about rising back up. It's not the first I get broke, you know what I mean? I'm always getting broke because I, I keep trying stuff. But the thing always broke me is keep on going buying cars. Just when I go and buy cars, I go on a shopping spree, man. I like to buy a car for 5000 6000 I just keep buying cars, man. And then sometimes I don't sell them, but I end up with all five cars in my home. And now I recognize buying all these cars and sell back, it don't worry. It. Not for me kind of breaking it because I buy them a light I'm gonna keep them and the room I come all the way down plus I got so much things to do so but you see that's my testimony you know what I mean I believe in the Lord and he pulled me through all these things to know I can have a testify a testimony about it so the point I'm trying to make is not what I have or the vanity right shake the vanity the money and all that is because I believe in the Lord to pull me through all these things. The enemy will test you all the way down to the ground. He bring you down, and when you're down, he pull you down more, right? So you have to be strong to believe in the Lord and be patient and rise up. And I feel like some people was taking advantage of the business that I'm doing because they think I'm not checking my stuff they think I'm not keep up with my thing that I'm doing I'm not calling a name I'm not saying much for people to understand what I'm saying but they don't understand that I give people time I be humble I give you six seven months and watch you because I'm doing business with you I watch you and observe you and then I come and check my things together because remember you have a thing named paper trail so you can't rob nobody when you have paper trail you see what I'm saying because they keep those documents so a lot of people when you do accountant you guys like to rob people I'm telling you don't do it because you're not getting along you're not going to go too far with it so some people I didn't say people do accountant I say some people I know a guy is to try to rob me pulling up money for RIS and he never paying it and then I caught up on him but I won't say then the next thing again I bust him so the guy in Jamaica try to rob me but you wanna you see still um yeah the point I'm trying to make still believe in the Lord and everything you do and put him first not money not vanity vanity is nothing right put humanity first in front of vanity and put God first in everything you do man God will change your life around God will turn everything around I don't feel like there's nobody against you nobody with you don't worry about people that's why nobody don't know my problem they never, no one can call you and say hey Marvin stressed out Marvin have this problem because I don't talk to people about nothing. Any problem with God, I talk to my Lord. Keep it to myself and talk to God. Not even the woman I'm with don't know what I'm going through stuff. Nobody know when I'm broke. Nobody know nothing. Because I don't tell people nothing. If you see me now, I don't take disrespect from nobody. No matter who you are, I will never, ever take a disrespect. You, no matter what you do for me, you could have even save me. If you pull up, drop over a precipice, if you're gonna disrespect me, I'm gonna tell him I'm mine. You see what I'm saying? It's all about respect. That's the point. So I don't really disrespect people, so I don't expect nobody to disrespect me. But the thing is, yeah, man, it's like, I get broke. It's not like, I mean, I have assets I could sell, right? I could sell it with my Benz, I could get rid of it, right? I could get, get rid of my truck, I could get rid of my. Malibu and everything in my home. 
I still have like four cars after I sell Shamar one. But the point I'm trying to say, I say, God, I'm going to leave everything to God to turn around for me. Because I believe. I believe and I'll be patient. And I go through all of these things. My son even go in the hospital. I didn't have money to pay nothing. It's a good thing he was in America. And I still be humble. I go through it. I still pray. And I believe in God going to take care of me. You could do surgery same day, come out the same day. All end up with four hundred dollars. Ain't you no know, hospital bill all his eye. Expression of surgery. I you do a surgery and come out. And it's still good, you know what I mean? Man I'll be patient. And now it's turning around. So you see when I always lose go down to the ground, God always build me up. As he said, double time what he got before. Because every time I broke, I always come up on double time what I got before. Right? And watch and see. I'm going to get triple time what I lose. Although I didn't lose nothing, but I lose everything on my account. But you see, money is not all in life, you know what I mean? God is everything. Put God in everything you do. Don't leave him out. Pray, pray, and when you're praying, pray for the world. Don't pray for yourself. Pray for the world. So, the point is, I got a testimony. Like that's my testimony. I believe straight in God. I didn't have to beg you guys nothing. I didn't have to borrow nothing. I got. I know I could get from my family, but I didn't want it. I don't want nothing from nobody. I want only from God. I say, if you can't save me, God, nobody else can. When I go into all the pain, I couldn't even turn to right because I was drinking water. So I think I did have a UTI. That's like kidney infection in the kidney. When you don't drink too as much water and all that. So I go through that, man, and I still pray when I was like, I couldn't even move. I'm driving and I can't even turn right. If I turn right, like to take anything up, I stuck. Till sometime I'm driving and I'm stuck, I can shake myself so I can control the steering. And everybody be like, stop, go to the doctor. And I said, no. I believe in the Lord going to help me through it. And my sister says she pray and I pray. And the same, well, two days after, it's like everything just gone. The UTI just gone like that. The only thing I take is a pain pill. So I'm saying, and those things you have to go to the doctor to get treatment for it. We seem to believe in the Lord. That's the point. When you believe in the Lord, you pull it through everything. No matter what you go through, you pull it through. You see what I'm saying? It's not like I did lose everything, but God pulled me through everything. Because I get broke before, I lose my car, everything, my rent place in Georgia, everything. And I come to Arkansas and I get it back triple time. See what I'm saying? And I get broke. Today is what the 28, 29, and 2022. You watch and see by next year. I'm building up back now. God building me up again. I watch and see by next year. My truck gonna pay off before the year end. I'm gonna debt free. Pay off RS. But I owe, yes, I would pay off RS and I'm gonna debt free. But it's just a testimony to what I go through. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have a doubt, I didn't have see I was even going to Jamaica to get my boys in. And I said, I'm not gonna borrow the money. As I say, I got friend, rich friend in Georgia, right? Where I can call and get anything from to borrow, right? I know people I can get things from. I didn't want it from nobody because I believe in the Lord you're going to help me and that's 